My name's Kate Locksmore, I'm a clarinetist and composer and uh, I have put together something called the Birmingham Art Ensemble uh, through a registered charity that um, I run with Lecon Babalela which is called the IFA Europa Contemporary Arts Trust. Uh, we're based in Birmingham and uh, the reason that we created the project um, that you see here is uh, partly out of a conversation that I had with my daughter she goes to school locally in Handsworth and uh, her and her friends were discussing the fact that they weren't going to take history as a subject because many of them are uh, from African descent and Afro-Caribbean and they didn't feel that they were learning anything about their history. And so I began to, to look at ways of perhaps being able to create a, an educational resource looking at the, the, the slave trade and the history of the trade, you know, the general trade with Africa and the effect uh, it had on Birmingham um, and why we all find ourselves here in this city uh, together. So the piece we're creating is uh, a look at England and Africa to start with in the 1600s and it begins with the creation of the West African Company um, and then we chart the journey uh, of the trade. Um, but we're looking at it from an angle of, of power because there's a fantastic quote by a ma the major industrialist in uh, Birmingham who uh, lived in the north of Birmingham called Matthew Bolton and he said, I sell here, sir, what the whole world desires to have, power. And um, it really helped us kind of think about uh, the whole journey and the story but from uh, a perspective of the fact that it is power that has um, has been created and has changed and formed the, the place that we live in now and effectively dispersed us all over the world as well. So out of that came uh, a project and we've been working with local within local schools um, and with local community groups um, of young people uh, looking, looking at the subject matter um, and getting some of their input into uh, the piece that, that we've been creating. Um, so Birmingham Art Ensemble um, features artists from um, predominantly from North Birmingham. Um, they reflect the cultural um, diversity of the, of the area and also work across the arts, so as musicians and a dancer and a spoken word poet. Um, but also, um, obviously we work with a team of sound engineer and uh, lighting and filmmaker. My name is Ola Lekon Babalola. People call me Lekon Babalola. I'm the creative director of IFA Yoruba Contemporary Arts Trust. The aim of the organization is to foster the development of African art from Africa into the African diaspora, Europe, Americas, and the rest of the world. The project's idea is to look at the journey of African people and also European people coming to Africa to do trade and how that trade has come to Europe and also go to Caribbean, the Americas. And to actually look at the present day Birmingham, how it is very multicultural uh, because Birmingham is home to 52 nations. And to look at the connection through the arts of people trading with one another, doing an exchange, and that exchange has now taken place in the present day of Birmingham people from Pakistan, people from Africa, people from Caribbean, people from England, people from Persia, anywhere in the world, how one interrelated. The project works um, across the art forms and the idea is that um, as, a, as a group we can input, so um, musicians can, can bring pieces that, that relate to the, to the theme, we can develop the visuals um, together and the dance and the poetry. So we're all inputting um, in many ways uh, as composers or Nathan is uh, choreographing. Um, and um, it's to work across the arts and it's to work across cultures as well um, and try and find a language really and a piece that uh, will evolve and hopefully um, go out further 
urban Birmingham, perhaps across the UK, um, as well as creating a resource um, for educational purposes alongside it. So um, we chart the journey and we chart it through music and, and um, spoken word and dance. Um, and we arrive in, uh, in Birmingham now and we, uh, we were working with a, a young musician who's a grime artist who created the last piece of music we put into the set. So we're really spanning a lot of history uh, and a lot of music, but um, uh, it's, it's been an interesting process. Thank you.